we pay our taxes. It's getting increasingly difficult, isn't it? And perhaps your conscience is gnawing at you. I'm giving my dollars to a government that is going to do that wicked, atrocious act to a baby. It, it is hard. I grant you that. It is difficult indeed. And yet, we have to take a look at our Bibles to understand if, when, how much should we be paying in taxes? Jesus was asked a question about taxes. And I guarantee you the government that he was living under, the Roman government, was even more wicked than our current government. And Jesus said, render unto Caesar. In other words, pay your taxes. Paul, in Romans 13, Submit to your government. So if our government says, this is your tax, this is what is due, then we pay it and your conscience should not trouble you because that government has been ordained by God as a magistrate to punish evil. And we are to submit to them even when the government itself is doing evil, just like it was doing in the time of Jesus and of Paul. Peter tells us the same thing in light of persecution. You just pay your taxes. You just submit to the government. You, you, you give to Caesar that which is Caesar's and you don't withhold it even though the government that you are sending your money to is doing something really, really evil. Nowhere in the Bible does it give us some sort of gradation, a chart to say, well, you render unto Caesar when this happens, but if they do this, then don't. But if so many do this, then you can do that. And if they... Nothing like that in the Bible. We render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's. Would you please like, subscribe, or share this video so other people can enjoy this professional Christian content.